Hey guys, so it's been a while since um, I did an HIV doctor visit. That's because I haven't been here in a while. My last appointment was, I believe, June or July of this year, and I didn't go because I was dealing with anxiety and depression, and I just wasn't in a mental space to take care of myself in that way. Doing a lot better now. So this is my first doctor's appointment, I think in a year. Um, which is supposed to be every six months. So I'm back here, and for those of you who are new to my channel, new to my content, I do this for all of my doctor's visits so that you can see that an HIV doctor's visit is a relatively painless experience. It's not scary. It's not some um, mysterious, weird, terrifying experience for those of us in the HIV community. It can be just like any other doctor's appointment with a couple extra questions. So stick around, here we go. Hey, would you rather stay right here? Make everything Hello. Hello, sir. Hey, how are you? Good, how are you? Good. Happy, it's Tuesday today. It is. It is. It's good that I'm vlogging, by the way. Oh, camera's on. Hello. Hi. Uh, so, how are you doing? I'm good. How are you? Good. You know, it's, it's Tuesday. So, it we're, here. Tuesday. we're here. <laughs> um, I work from home today, so it's better than Monday. I know. I, I miss the, the telehealth work from home days. They were, they were nice. <laughs> I bet. But, but, you know, we were, we were back full force, so. Yeah. I thought I saw you before, but I don't think so. No, we've never met before. This is the first time. I'm Kevin. Hi. How are you? Hey, Grace. How are you? Hey, how are you? Uh, so we're just doing a follow-up today, right? Just regular follow-up? That is correct. So I missed my last one. I think it was June or July. Okay. Uh, but everything's going okay? Big Tarby, fine? No mm -hmm. issues? Do you have any fun plans this weekend? Hang no. Out? Seen shows? Doing anything? No. A lot of work. Yeah. What do you do for work? Um, I work with my parents at their manufacturing plant. Oh, um, nice. Okay. Um, and then I also do HIV advocacy content creation. Oh. So I'll part, like, AHF, I partnered with them. Oh, that's right. Okay, so has And then, yeah. yeah. APLA, I've done stuff with. I actually was, like, almost full, full-time doing content creation. Right oh. Right the pandemic. Uh-huh. And then... The pandemic hit, and then it kind of... can't justify, and my parents were there ready to, like, poach me. Oh. Okay. They've been wanting me to work for them for a while. For a while, yeah. and it was the time they 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 took you. Oh yeah, yeah. Uh, and we'll just do routine lab stuff, right? Everything else okay? No other issues. Can I also get my um, ears cleaned today? Sure. Okay. You get like a lot of wax. Typically. Oh, this one is okay. It's most of the other ear is fine. It's okay. just your uh, left ear is. Perfect. I have a feeling. Um, we started doing the um, injectables. We did start doing the injectables. Yeah, I was at, I'm just asking because I oh. keep them updated on that stuff. Yeah, I mean it's 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 good, right? Uh, it's I think it's a little hard. I mean, to uh, is it the logistics of scheduling? Yeah, I mean it, it takes a lot of manpower to do it. Um, I think it's also I mean for me I mean I'm also positive and. For me to want to take a shot every month, they'd have to come to the clinic every month. Is would be a lot for me. Yeah. Because you know, it's like you have you have you can't give it to yourself at home, right? So you have to take it. That's kind of my. So for me, I'm just like I'd rather take a pill every day than you know have yeah. to come into the clinic. Um, next year, it's supposedly going to be approved for two months every oh, two okay. months. Wow. Um, so that'd be a little more a little palatable. Better. Yeah. I mean, so I think it's great if people want it, and yeah. there's a lot of reasons for people. I mean, I, I think it's a. For the real, the true person who really needs it, yeah. I think it's a very specific person, right? I think it's a person who does not, uh, doesn't miss appointments, right? Because you don't want someone who misses meds and misses appointments because, yeah. you know, it, you can become resistant to these shots, sure. right? So, uh, and, but, you know, someone who misses, like, either has trouble taking their meds or misses their meds, I, mean, I think it's a great great option, right? And, and there's some people I have who are on it who just feel a lot of stigma uh, taking a pill every day, you know? And That's I, true, I psychologically. Psychologically, it's helpful, and um, I think it's great. And some people just take a lot of pills, too, and they just want to reduce their pill burden by, you know, one. And, <laughs> um, and, and that's helpful, too. So, I mean, I think it's great. I think, too, there's, I mean, I, for HIV meds, right, there's a lot of really great things coming down the line, yeah. right? I think when it goes to two months, I think it's going to be very big. Um, you know, it's it's going to be approved for prep too. I think next year. Oh, cool. Um, you know, there's going to there's a couple meds coming down that'll be like maybe Q every twice a year injectables. 
you know, for and that will now we're talking. Yeah, and that's like a game changing thing. I think yeah. that's really like a, for me that that's something I would want to do for sure. But yeah, so I mean, I, I would say it's a certain type of patient who wants yeah. the the injectable, and I think it's great for people. It works, right? It's uh, we're kind of moving towards two drug therapy, mm-hmm. right, instead of three. Yeah. Um, you know, we're you know I think people are becoming more comfortable keeping you know suppressing people on two drugs versus three, yeah. uh, if it's the right two drugs. Um, What's the name of the injectable, or is there multiple? Uh, so there's only one right now, okay. right? That's approved, and that's Cabinuva. So okay. Cabinuva is the injectable. So in that uh, consists of two two drugs, right? One's a cafetegravir, and the other one's uterin. You know, so um, an integrase and an, and an RTI. So, but they, yeah. I'm nodding like I know what you're talking about. Oh, not the you. Know. Yeah. Okay. So <laughs> but, yeah. So it's basically two classes of drugs, right? So one. Like one one that's in Victarby, basically, right? Mm-hmm. And another one that is uh, was a drug that was in Odessi, right? Okay. So that was uh, what's then they can combine. So it's two shots. It's in the you know it it's a lot of fluid, especially the first dose. Yeah. Um, and it's, it'll be a lot of fluid. So it's like three cc's, you know, three three mLs on each side. On each side. Uh, for the first dose, for okay. maintenance dose, it's two, so that's less. Uh-huh. Um, so it's not for everybody, you know, sometimes it hurts, it supposedly gets better as people get the shots, it doesn't hurt as much, but, um, but for two, every two months, it's always going to be three cc's of fluid, so it'll be, uh, gotcha. interesting, so, yeah, but, yeah, no, it's a great, it's a great drug, but we're doing, really, it's a really exciting time for HIV, so. All right, well, so let us, uh, you got your flu shot, thank you. Yes. Uh, and getting my booster. Getting your booster. COVID. Great. Like a week. Okay. And we will just do your blood work today, and I send all your, your refills to Premier. Excellent. Um, yeah. All right. Well, it was a pleasure meeting you. You do with you as well. So just uh, hang here, right. and I'll send Julia in, and then you can get out of here. Okay. Okay. Oh, let me put the ear irrigation in. Yes, please. Uh, and then that'll be. Okay. All right. All right. So hang here. It was nice meeting you. You too. Okay. Bye, Ray. I don't work too hard this weekend. Well. <laughs> okay. All right, guys. So that was that. As you can see, pain-free, relatively easy. Um, I really like it at APLA because their um, doctor's appointments are very personable. As you can see, they really want to know how you're doing, not just medically, but also in life in general, and ask those key questions that make you feel like you're not just a number, but an actual patient. So now um, someone's going to come and clean out this ear. because This is the one that always typically gets backed up and then draw some blood. I already did my urine earlier because when I got here, I really had to go to the bathroom. So got that out of the way and then I'll be done. All right. So here we go. Which ear was it again? This one. Okay. Get started. Drops. Yeah. Just dropping it up. People always ask me like, what are they doing with your ear? What is that? Who say that? Like, just people commenting. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, you're a blogger? Yeah. Oh, okay, nice. I know I have my little, like, what was it? She was seven right now. Mm-hmm. When COVID hit, she was very scrawny. <laughs> very tiny. And I'm like, child, you need to eat more. <laughs> and COVID hit, and all of a sudden, she went from an extra small to uh, 10, 12, and she's seven. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> So I'm like, God, COVID hits you hard. She's child. healthy now. Yeah, she is. She's thick. She's a big bone. I wanted her to gain some weight, but not that much. <laughs> now it's like getting physical again, getting out. Oh, yeah. They, that's the hard part for them because they have gymnastics and they have cheer. Oh, nice. Yeah. That's good. They didn't want to do um, exercise no more because they were so like used to the whole year that they were out of sports and stuff. Yeah. So now that they're back, it's like, I'm tired. Do they enjoy it? Oh, yeah, they do. They actually like more gymnastics than cheer. Yeah. Is it different dealing with COVID? Mm, yes, it is. We used to see, I think, more patients before COVID. It's now less. Like, we're not seeing as much. Mm. Because you're limiting it or they're not, they're just not coming? So I know that they were limiting it at first. Yeah. Now we're just kind of opening it all up, mm. even Saturdays. Oh, wow. Yeah, they're, they're doing two Saturdays now. Um, 
we're going back to the same routine as we were before. Okay. Mm, it's good because I think we all need it. Do you want me to sit in the chair? You're fine right here. Yeah, it's fine. You can sit here. I want you to get with it. You're going to be my handy helper today. So I'm going to have you hold on to this. And you're, you could go ahead oh, yeah. and remove the mask from one side because it is going to get wet. Okay. okay. Just hold it on really tight to your ear. So this way? This way? This way. Towards me. Let me know if at any point I'm hurting you. Okay. Ready? Mm -hmm. Usually it's really stubborn. Mm -hmm. That was probably the maximum pressure I can handle. Okay. Before it hurts. I think we might be done. Yeah? Oh, I hope so. That looks disgusting. <laughs> oh, you're clear? Yes. <laughs> That's worth it. Yeah, here. Getting real personal. <laughs> I don't know. I got to practice here. I'm going to dump this out for you. <laughs> you can leave it back. <laughs> Alright, other than that, all I need from you is going to be a urine sample. I did it when I got here. Oh, I you did? did? Yeah. You're good. Okay, You're awesome. Good. Thank you, you so much. Alright, bye.